they let us do most of the racy things we wanted to do, like um, the Civil War soldier getting shot in the testicle and impregnating a lady. They, <laughs> it took a couple of years for us to convince them that we could do that tastefully, but we did. Um, right now, we're doing an idiom special, and uh, I was able to convince, in the model making industry, you're often working for art directors who are idiots. And uh, I know it's a shocking concept. And uh, when you're working on a model for an art director who's an idiot and the design is terrible, but you've still got to make it look good for the film, we call it turd polishing. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, that's great. Why can, can we, let's do polishing a turd. Is that possible? So we were, we were actually, we got all the poo in from the San Francisco Zoo just on Friday. Uh, the, only, the only restriction is that we can't say turd. For some reason, discovery standards and practices requires that we say doo-doo or poo-poo. Which is fine, it's, it's funnier. Um, the ones that Discovery ends up turning down, that turn out not to be Discovery, are the ones which they, can, they, they have a hard time seeing how we could do in an interesting way. Um, I've, I've been wanting to do Monster Cable versus Coat Hanger for years. And they think that's really boring. Green around the CDs, the entropy reducing boxes that you plug in that make your stereo sound better, all of that crap. The high, I have a whole high fidelity hour that I've written that Discovery keeps on saying this, nah, it's not visual, it's, not, it's too boring. Um, we have a whole episode called The Surreal Gourmet, which actually Discovery stole the finale from, <laughs> uh, for our own show. Uh, but. Uh, the surreal gourmet was all the different ways to cook food in non-standard ways. Uh, poaching fish in your dishwasher, cooking eggs on your catalytic converter, uh, various ways to safely cook and eat roadkill, uh, finishing off with tenderizing meat with dynamite. And when Discovery saw that, we actually tenderized meat with dynamite uh, late last year. That'll air this fall if it hasn't already. Has tenderizing meat with dynamite aired yet? No. Okay, no. Let's see. They, <laughs> they've been saving a ton of our episodes to air starting next week. We're hosting the Shark Week airs next week, and then it's like three and a half months of brand new MythBusters episodes all in a row. Yeah, starting out with busting the uh, busting, taking on the myth that the NASA moon landing was a hoax. Um, Besides the, Chain besides the Dick Cheney shooting, which was the only time I was told no, and please don't make that suggestion again. <laughs> um, Discovery has stayed away from things to do. We, we did jumping on a grenade, which if you saw it is a terrible, terrible episode because they, had, they turned it into a Hollywood movie myth that people jump on grenades. And the, the progression was is that we did a myth about jumping on grenades. We did it beautifully, succinctly. We, had, we put bodies on them, we put helmets on them, we put armor, we put them in refrigerators, and we had all these cutouts and plywood at, at various distances from the kill zone. We proved exact the kill zone of a grenade is exactly what we thought it was, uh, except our, so our cutouts were all uh, World War I soldiers with the, that World War I helmet. And it was going to air the day before the 2000, the day after the 2004 election. And Discovery felt that because of the Iraq war that it, was too, that it would be, put them in way too politicized a position for us to be showing sol talking about soldiers dying. And they said it would be disrespectful to the soldiers, which I was, thought was the most asinine thing I've ever heard in my life. And we fought and we fought, we fought bitterly with them. There was actually a lot of really angry emails going back and forth. Jamie's the one that sends the really angry emails to Discovery. <laughs> we take the, I, I don't know if anyone read Steve Martin's biography, but John Belushi had this great thing that he told Steve Martin when he first showed up at Saturday Night Live. He said, I only yell at the executives, never the staff. And Jamie and I do the same thing. We do a lot of yelling at the executives. Um, and in the end, they recut it as a, Hollywood, as a Hollywood myth. And what did we get? We got tons of excoriating emails from soldiers saying we disrespected them. <laughs> and I mean, we forwarded those right off to Discovery and said, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Since I'm standing here, I have to say, as a microbiologist, please revisit food on the floor for five seconds. Really? Yeah, too numerous to count is like measuring 480 with 120 volt okay. meter. Uh, but I don't think we'd come up with any different results. I don't think. Here's the, here's the thing. I don't think you would either, but I have a way to test it. Okay. The, the thing is, is that we, 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 will, we will absolutely revisit when we think we screwed up the results. It's funny. We'll revisit when we screwed up. We won't stand by our results. We <laughs> We know. I mean, you can't with a data set of one and two and five, but we do stand by our methodologies. And I, I agree some of the methodologies get problematic, but if we're going to come to the same conclusion, there's, not, there's just not enough meat to do a revisit.